हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज एफ्रा दुहन आई स्कोर 690 मार्क्स एंड 356 रैंक इन डी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई एम करंटली अ फर्स्ट ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट एट मौलाना आजाद मेडिकल कॉलेज Uh, so by the time you watching this video perhaps you would have covered all of your you know part syllabus tests and you might have even given one or two your complete syllabus tests so you have actually covered your 11th and 12th you have actually covered 100 chapters in segmented form so you have covered most of the most of the syllabus but now what you have to do is to give tests in a compilated form and like you guys i was very anxious to just cover 100 chapters and then give tests and like it was it was a very anxious period so what came to my rescue were the ncert maps i think ncert maps uh, perhaps one of the best resources from where you can revise in just a quick succession all these 100 chapters and there are certain topics which are pretty weak you see for me personally ecology was a unit that that was something that was a very some topic for me because i was not able to remember the factual fa factual facts as to which law came in which year and like uh, how many national parks are there and all those factual questions and i think that was when um, ncert maps and the complete test series came into rescue they actually built the topics up to a strength that i didn't have any reaction time in the neat exam so there are certain units in both botan in both botany geology chemistry physics such as electromagnetism in physics and for chemistry the inorganic chemistry like d block etc for botany ecology for zoology physiology these are the units from where you actually can expect four to five questions in each and every paper and this has been trend for like 10 years so these are some high yield units which you have to revise again and again and for that i used to highlight my ncert and wherever i used to go for a test i used to make sure that yes i revise those high highlighted point at least because i know yeah, these are the question these are the paragraph these are the parts which actually render a lot of questions in the neat exam and talking about the neat exam i think a complete syllabus test they were the best thing that ever uh, that i actually took because they gave me a real life ex like real life experience I, i was simulated in an environment sitting with a lot of my peers giving tests daily on the daily basis and what this actually did to me i was i was um, acclimatized in that particular zone i was acclimatized I, i i was my body was used to sitting with a lot of people and then giving tests and maintaining concentration and maintaining my flow managing my time and reducing the reaction time i think reducing the reaction time is one of the most important thing that you can do by giving test which you can only do by giving test there's no other way you have to look at a question you have to just align your thoughts you have to bombard that question with a lot of concepts in n seconds and make sure you derive the best possible answer another important aspect of your preparation at this stage is to make sure you segment your day in such a way that you don't you don't get a burnout at the end of the day so you have to make sure that you don't you don't just study all the day you have to make sure to get a good good night sleep or whenever you want to sleep and i think uh, having a good night sleep or uh, you know healthy meal and having some sort of pleasure activity that relaxes your brain is very important as for me uh, i think going out on walks or listening to music and perhaps watching some videos on youtube was what i indulged myself into whenever i felt like the pressure was too much i could not study anymore but i used to make sure that that particular time was limited i won't i won't indulge myself throughout the day just going out on walk or listening to music. another major benefit that i derived from the final test series is i realized where i was going wrong apart from you know the topics and the chapters i realized what kind of mistakes i was making while attempting the paper like for me i was not reading the question properly i was not reading if the question was asking correct statements or incorrect statements and i think after the test was over going to discussions made me realize how important it is to dissect the question to dissect the answers to look for the words certain words certain characteristic word that actually can change your whole answer such as exclusive exclusively or uh, like only the only this only word in the answers can actually change your whole scenario this whole question can be changed if there's a word name only or exclusively or this is certain characteristic words see i think uh, giving the final test series made me realize i had to focus on words and i had to uh, mark the answer accordingly i had to mark the best best fitting answer and perhaps uh, going to discussions after the test helped me a lot in this wishing all the neat aspirants of neat 2023 a very good luck